Howdy partners, welcome back to my channel. Um, I usually have like a, some downloads or things that I feel like I wanna discuss or talk about, but nothing has really come to me. The only thing that's come to me, and this is gonna be a Divine Masculine check-in, thank you guys for your support. Please continue to like, comment. Frequent commenters will be put in my raffle when I reach 15,000 subscriber giveaways. I will be giving two of my decks away. I just created two new decks actually. And you can find me on makeplayingcards.com. My link is in my description box. Um, so let's get some. So let's um let's talk <laughs> no um the only thing i was kind of thinking about was um two words that were coming to mind was respect and voice like people feeling like their voices aren't heard people feeling like they're kind of getting stepped on um disrespected and i don't know if this is coming from the masculine um i imagine it is so um i'm gonna start with the rising sun oracle um, soul activation oracle deck and see what messages are coming up for where the masculines are at okay so this is the divine masculine reading of course i will address a lot of um, divine feminine stuff as well we've got knowing thyself third eye okay so yeah a success throat chakra uh-huh mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's what i was getting and sacral chakra once again okay so I did talk a lot about the sacral chakra yesterday. Um, this is about giving life. This is about creating life. This is about the masculine's um, sexual, sacral connection with the feminine here, okay? Um, but, you know, I think a big thing that happens in this um, journey is really beginning, um, really re learning to rely on your own intuition and really standing firm in who you are and um, owning your success and owning your voice here with the throat chakra, I feel like it's such a big thing for um, divine counterparts is to learn how to stand firmly in their own truth and to know what, they, what it is that they stand for. And I feel this is easier for feminines because I feel usually feminines are in the physical world alone where the masculine is very much codependent and surrounded by other energies that they might feel overpower them or drown them out, but they also are bound to them. They rely on them. And so um, it's really challenging for them, but they do feel like they need to learn to step away from the energies around them and to start really owning their life, owning their, um, their passions, owning what it is that they want, okay? And really sometimes that requires us to go in full out complete hermit mode, which I feel is hard for the masculines, okay? I do want to, I wanted to do a deeper truth here. I didn't end up doing it yesterday. And feeling like you're enough, you're courageous enough to um, take those steps to, I mean, it takes a lot of courage, you know, owning who you are, being rooted in who you are, feeling that you are enough. And really, if you have any people in your life that are discounting you or talking down to you, or even people that you've known for a very long time and like, they have an outdated view of you, okay? It's about growth, it's about expanding out of that um, energy. And so I feel it's really hard for the masculines because I feel like they may resent those people who they rely on, but at the same time they um, rely on them because they haven't quite mastered the whole codependency thing, all right? Let's get some energies here. failure okay we have success and failure so i feel like the masculines are really evaluating their worth based on their 3d successes and failures and whether they're aligned with their purpose or not this is something probably going on in the collective right now i'm not sure i'm feeling this music let me see if i could get um so i feel like people are really evaluating am i on the right path you know also maybe focusing on their failures but really not focusing on their successes okay feeling like maybe they're a failure in other people's eyes or maybe they're not maybe they're a failure in their eyes but it's very interesting that we have failure and success okay 
and we have purpose. I know what I am here to do. I want to do a deeper truth here because I'm just feeling it. So, okay. Okay. This is a deeper truth for the collective, okay? I am so grateful that every divinely orchestrated event leads me directly into my purpose. I am completely aligned, balanced, and clear on the vision for my life. And even when I am not clear on the vision, I know that the divine will set the path before me. I have nothing to worry about. I control the steps that I can control and I surrender control where I don't have it. I know that everything is working out for me. I know that everything is coming into focus and I don't have to worry about anything. I am calm, I am relaxed, I am hopeful, I am faithful. I give myself credit, I pat myself on the back. I am my own cheerleader, I am my own hero. I know that I'm doing the best I can and not everything is in my hands to control. I release and surrender and let things unfold as they're supposed to. I know that it's all working out for the best of me. I am being protected. I am being divinely guided. guided. Abundance is flowing to me and I embrace the energy and vibration of abundance. I have nothing to fear. I don't resist fear or push anything away. I am receptive to everything that I know that I deserve. I deserve love and connection and alignment and balance and purpose and enthusiasm and joy and compassion and forgiveness. And I embrace all these qualities and I know that I deserve all these qualities back. I am showered in divine white light and I am protected. Every cell in my brain and body is balanced, grounded, and I am clear in my vision. I am clear every day. I make healthy, clear decisions. My mind is so clear when deciding what to do. I know exactly what to do and I do it. I am so grateful for all of God's blessings, for all the things I don't see that I am protected from. I trust and have faith and surrender to this beautiful path before me. Okay, sometimes when I do that, my makeup gets... Okay, so some of you guys may have felt that, some of you didn't, but I'm just feeling that that's the energy we need. There's a lot of energy of being hard on ourselves and being um, stressed out, and I feel the masculine may be really feeling that right now with the holidays here. So... Um, I'm going to pull for my just for today's to get some uplifting messages. Today I decide to take up a new creative hobby, something I've always wanted to do. I start writing that book, planning that garden, taking that class. I force myself to do it even if I don't want to. I fight all resistance and I take action rather than... So I feel the masculine might feel like there's a lot of energy coming up against them, that they have to work extra hard to climb up this mountain to be successful. And I feel that we're maybe in a collective energy where we just need to push against the resistance. We need to know that we are more powerful than any energy coming up against us. We keep rising. We keep blindly just closing our eyes and taking those steps that we need to take, okay? So, um... Today I do the task I've been avoiding, doing the mundane task that needs to get done, cleaning the house, washing the floor, taking care of bills. I recognize these things actually stabilize my chakras, make me feel more empowered, and are part of karma yoga. I'll feel so much better after I release the worry from my mind. So there's definitely like a put, I'm feeling it in this reading, like an energy up against us, up against, and it could be our own subconscious um, Today I recognize that people do the best they can. Sometimes love does not look like love, but if another soul forces us to be the best version of ourselves, even if they didn't show us love, they showed us how to cultivate self-love. So part of um, releasing judgment is releasing judgment on ourselves, releasing judgment on other people because that comes back to us, okay? So let's get some tarot here. Strange, strange energy. Strange magic, oh water. Okay. So a lot of these things are about just the tasks we don't want to do, the things we feel like a lot of energy, anxiety around. That could be the collective energy of what's going on where people just feel very overwhelmed with a lot of things they have going on. They're doubting their capability. Are they enough? Can they do this? The masculine, look at the emperor, literally just fell out. He's going through 
I feel some major tower moments, some major moments of becoming an adult, taking responsibility, you know, taking ownership here. I'm not ready. Okay, where is the Divine Masculine at right now? Four of Pentacles, holding on tight to some belief, some idea, some self-limiting belief. A good thing we could do is write on paper something that keeps us back. I am not enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not pretty enough. Whatever it is, and burning it. That's a good exercise you guys can do to help your masculine along too. We have King of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. Definitely Leo six of swords the devil reverse it's still that toxic energy i'm gonna take this temp and the temperance came up reversed again not knowing how to balance our energies um capricorn sagittarius leo and aries energy here i feel people want to move forward the masculine is in an attempt to let go of anything holding him back he might even be sort of resisting this is almost like a strength card too with the lion in the back resisting things that he thinks are going to be his downfall trying to keep himself balanced because he's very rocky right now i'm getting very rocky look at this the six of swords is all about moving away from rocky waters but i feel like he's still in those waters he still doesn't know if he's his emotions are going to take over he doesn't he can't see clearly he doesn't know if he's making the right decisions here The world reversed, five of swords. Yeah, he is stressed out, six of cups reversed. He can't get over the past. He's really like ruminating about the past. He's really thinking about it. It's hurting his head, to be honest, metaphorically or physically even, okay? He feels like he messed things up here. Um, and he feels like he just doesn't know how to, ha like this situation to close out. He doesn't really know how to get the answers. Um, he doesn't really know how to calm things down and this came up twice so <clears throat> he does want a new beginning he does want to invest in something fruitful let's get two more cards here but <clears throat> and this regret is on the bottom here so it's a heavy heavy energy guys like I'm feeling it in the reading <clears throat> I feel like I'm coming up against king of cups emotional and um, he lied about his emotions. He lied about what he felt and he regrets that. That's what I'm getting here with this King of Cups and Seven of Swords. He wasn't honest with you. He wasn't honest with himself. And he's trying to like duck and cover and avoid and stuff, but he can't. Like it's all coming, crashing down on him. Okay. Let's get from the Moody Moon messages. mysterious evasive secretive and quiet he he thought if he could keep his emotions to himself it would cause less disruption less chaos but i feel avoidant yep he looking away scattered can't focus yep so he thought if he could just avoid it all together he could avoid anything bad happening but it's still in his mind it's still haunting him okay still now he can't focus even more so um this being evasive thing didn't really work out for him okay let's get some depths of the sea and shadow twin flame shadow i didn't expect this to be such a sh superficial and warning Making his decisions on superficial things backfired on him, but and he kind of knew they were going to, but he ignored that because he thought he was like avoiding disaster, but he actually swam right into it. Yeah, sugar cook, enigma. There's a lot of mystery here though, magnetic pull, and it's like he doesn't understand, but the situation keeps pulling him back. Um, and so I'm switching the music again. It feels so heavy. Um, we've got magnetic pull and enigma. So he just can't really figure it out. It's like he's mysterious to you, but he's also just mysterious. He He's like very ruminating on this situation a lot, okay, is the feeling I get. 
very, very obsessed, to be honest. Apologetic, empathetic, remorseful, and regrets again. Okay, so he feels really sorry. Okay. Let's get from... Carry from Celestial Forecast. We've got anxiety that's showing up here. Definitely anxious, definitely heavy energy. I, I do feel like he sugarcoated things. Like we have sugar coat on the bottom here and introspection. So he's just thinking about how dishonest he was. That's too, he lied about his feelings here to like multiple people, I think. Again, I have never desired anyone as much as I want you. I can't stop thinking. I can't stop myself from thinking about your kiss, the way you touch me, make love to me. I can feel you with me even when you're not here. I know you want me just as much. Let's make this a reality again. So the desire is still there. We had the sacral card come out right again. This reminds me of the Janet Jackson song. And I'll never fall in love with you again. This is from You Had My Heart. It's actually the same um, little lollipops on the front here from Angelic Revelation. So let's see what does he want to say to the feminine. I am not currently feeling in the right place for a relationship right now. I do see us together in the future. I believe that you are my destiny. Like once again, again, okay? He doesn't feel right now is the right time. I don't think he's in good space. I'm involved with someone else and it wouldn't be fair to either of you to pursue our connection at this time. So if you're not in the third party, this is obviously not going to resonate with you. Let's get one more. I enjoy dating and keeping things casual as I am not wanting to settle down just yet. So I feel the person he's with, he actually doesn't see a future with. He sees a future with you, but right now he's not ready. Okay? Very interesting. Let's get some of the ways you guys connect here. Office job, you guys could have met at work. They could also think of you at work or something with the office location, rainbow love. This could be a gay relationship, hanging out. We do have like multiple things about being casual. So maybe you guys were just casual. Maybe you it was someone you worked with here, okay? Night sky, but I feel they are introspective. They are deep about this here. New location. So I feel that there is going to be new things happening within this connection, okay? Um, I feel like there is going to be shifts even within them, but it, it's they're going slow right now here. They also are just going through a lot. Let's get one card from the Sigil Oracle. Spectrum. This is another rainbow kind of energy. Very interesting. A lot of different colors. I do feel like there is a need for like chakra um, aligning here. We got it in one of my cards and we have it here with all the different colors. So let's see what spectrum stands for. It's temperance. Again, you guys, we are in Sagittarius season, but this keeps coming up in my reading. So I really want to see what this book has to say about temperance. This is page, okay, number nine. All right, it says, fields, rainbow, impartiality, flexibility, objectivity, empathies, empathies, empathy, and beliefs. Look, we had rainbow love. There's definitely a thing about rainbows here, if that means something to you. Um, the mantra is, I is not a fixed notion. This is about being flexible to change, okay? Visualize, oh my God, you guys, what did I post yesterday? Wow, I swear I never even read this from the book. 
Visualize your core as the roots of a tree deep in the ground and the spectrum as the branches reaching far and wide. What you value is known, but you are open to receiving wisdom from all angles and perspectives. Envision your energy reaching through the tree trunk and then its branches like veins through a body. Picture what it would be like to find your energy in all of the branches as they get smaller and more abundant, keeping yourself present in all of the channels as they rise. How does it feel to be in more than one branch at once while also knowing that your roots are tucked in nicely to the solid earth? Ask yourself this and stay with it a while. This is about being open, being flexible. What did I pull in the beginning? I mean, I pulled temperance twice here, but there was one of the, um, we do have a root chakra here, but there was something I pulled in the beginning very very interesting okay so um and what was the other word that i saw here that really resonated um well i talked about this in my um deeper truth as well so there's a need for um and we have camp focus and thoughts and that's what i was kind of saying different options different avenues there's a lot of different energies happening it's time to get balance and really kind of like absorb all the energies but also stay rooted and know thyself that's what i was saying like yourself, the core of you never shifts. You always stay present in that energy, but you also allow different um, mindsets. And I think that's what the masculine is going through where like their thoughts are so scattered. They have so many different things and it's like they have to learn to be more flexible with themselves here. Okay, that's what this rainbow energy is all about. Right, let's get a couple more cards. Very interesting. Forget who you are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you, okay? So this is about building new directions, new, new, being open to new, letting go of old stories, old narratives, okay? Wow. This is so interesting. We have know thyself and forget who you are. So some people, some masculines may be not even knowing themselves, but then some need to let go of an old belief system as well here too. All right, guys, so very interesting reading. I hope it resonated with you guys. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.